you're always amazed at you know people that are that aren't famous who are big fans. But I was on an airplane and coming back from New York, and Lou Rawls gets on the airplane <laughs> and he comes and he you know no recognition. He sits in front of me in the seat in front of me, and I'm just sitting there going <laughs> Lou Rawls, you know. <laughs> and he turns around and he goes. I love your show. <laughs> oh, turns back around. That's all he said. That to me was a moment of like, really. Yeah. I never heard that story before. Yeah. yeah. That's that is very cool. Yeah. I don't very have anything cool. nearly that cool. Uh, I um, I think that, like Obama is a big fan, but when I met Whoopi, who is a huge fan. Yeah. yeah. I'm such a huge fan of Whoopi's that it was just like, whoa, you know, and the fact that she was like in love with the show and Star Trek and everything, and I was dazzled by her, and I loved her vibe. She is just amazing to work with. Sure. Amazing to work with. So that that so, was pretty pretty darn cool. So Whoopi over Obama. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, if Obama served me a good drink, maybe. You know what I mean? Like, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, me? Questions? Yeah. Patrick, do you have anybody that... Yeah. Pele. Oh, wow. no way. Wow. Oh, I'm no, jealous. I oh, wow. Okay, you met Pele. I was at an event which oh, was actually God. a soccer event. It was uh, an award ceremony of some kind. And he was there sitting on the front row, as was I. I was not getting an award. And, uh, <laughs> a soccer award. and he was once. right at one side of the, the auditorium, and I was with uh, Sonny and my wife on the other side. And, but he had always people around him, and I could tell that some of them were uh, protecting him. You mm -hmm. know? And uh, then the, the show started, and then they paused for blackouts every now and again, and I said to Sonny, the next blackout... I am going straight over there. Tag along, come along with me. And uh, she said, okay, okay, I would. And he came up, and off I went, and there was a small crowd in front of him, and I said, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Mr. And he went, oh, <laughs> oh I wow. love your show. I oh, love wow. It. And I said, well, I was actually going to say the same about you, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay. and then and then he gave me he took me in his arms and gave me a hug and said, "Photograph, we must have a photograph." Oh, oh, and oh, took photographs great. as well. And 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 with my wife, he took a photograph with Sonny too. So, yeah, they don't get for me much yeah. bigger than that. Well, whoopee. But uh, <laughs> still. <laughs> yeah. Jonathan, yeah. what about for you? Do you have one? I, I hear, by the way, that yeah. Real Madrid have made her an offer. Oh, was that? <laughs> but, oh, oh. Sorry. I'm not fine. I, I only had Tom Hanks. I've been, I've been, I had uh, all yeah. three of you all beat me. Oh, and also your friend who came to uh, our wedding, the former Secretary of State. Madeline oh, Madeline, Madeline Albright. Albright. That was pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, very yeah. Cool. yeah. She loved that show. She was a big trekker. She came to uh, when we were shooting the wedding at the beginning of Nemesis, and yeah. that was kind of exciting. But May it, she rest it, in it's peace. amazing because you know I was in intensive uh, in the emergency room from a ruptured appendix, and they had been looking to find someone who was going to do a microscopic surgery, and I, you know, I was in agony, and the doctor walks in and goes. Dr. Crusher. 